like three quarters of an inch. It is? Yeah. I just pointed it to you. So, this is the board of TJ Truth. Yes, yes. So, what you see here are the rules that TJs live under. So, it doesn't, you know, if you're, like, we all work under gravity. You know, there's rules, physics. This is TJ physics. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, we got the old uh, track bar up here. It survived from a cheap five and a half inch lift. Uh, don't buy cheap. And I got to tell you people. guys, don't after, buy cheap. Lift after kits. moving this track bar around, this is obviously from five and a half. It feels like aluminum compared to our rusties. Yeah, it, it's it's not a good track bar, but for what we're doing, it serves the purpose. Okay, so what we've done, we got our arc over here, and this represents the stock height, two and three quarter. That's close to three inches. That's actually where Harley's setting right now, and then four and five eighths. I don't know why mine measures it's coming out four and five eighths so that's four and a half so ignore that just say you're at three inches and four and a half inch and we actually have a five and a half inch left down there for those dangerous people as harley has down here infinity five and a half infinity death <laughs> <laughs> so um, that from there on you're going into the danger zone all right so we're over here with the TJ of truth board and I got a track bar mounted up so this up here this would be the frame lo location mount and height and then when, with the Jeep TJ setting at stock height center line of axle that's base that's where their mounts are that's where it's located so this is what, what we want to show you that through the cycle this is the degree angle that you will be following I'm going to try to do this. Sorry about my head being there. Yeah, it's closer to 3.9. I wrote I wrote 3.5, but let's do Yeah. 3.9 degrees. Okay. Let's go on down to the 3 inch area. So basically, this is the area that it's going to be riding right here. Let's check this out. Now I'm going to just say 10 degrees. All right, we're going to come on down to the four and a half inch crowd and see where they're going to be living. Yeah, it's 13. Hold on, did I? Yeah, no, I did that right. And you know, let's go. Let's go on down to the five and a half inch crowd. Fourteen point two. And we're gonna go right to the eight inch crowd, way down here. Eighteen point eight. Okay, so so I know I understand that me doing this right here is not perfect. I understand that this I I, glanced, I was moving the camera and I got looking back here. I know that this was probably closer to four. This was probably closer. The three inch was probably closer to nine inch. Um, it looks like the value changes somewhere around one point three or so per inch. Uh, so one point three degree track bar angle change or this radius change. Um, as to inch of lift. Okay, so another thing I wanted to bring up was this line here. Now this did not, I did not intend on this representing a leaf spring, but it can. I just was looking over at it and I was like, cool. Leaf spring, 100% up and down. That's why different vehicles don't have this issue and don't have, uh, oh, okay, I'm gonna touch on it real quick. Ram pickups, the 3500s, uh, the heavy three quarter tons and 35s, they have flirted with coil springs on the back of their pickups um, and it was a disaster for hauling. The trucks are all over. 
So anybody that knows those trucks, you do not buy a coil spring on the back. If you're hauling heavy weight, you want the Leafs because they track better, they handle the load better. It is what it is. Um, your YJs, CJs, you, they're dealing with leaf springs. So they're going to handle lift a little bit better than what a coil sprung vehicle is. But there is in no world can you compare the capabilities of a TJ, LJ that are coil sprung and on, I'm saying JK, JL, coil sprung track bar setup compared to leaf springs. You can't. So the trade-off is worth it. The trade-off being this radius. You got this ridiculous radi radius that you're going to be dealing with. And that radius does not matter below 45 miles an hour. But 45 miles an hour and up, hitting a bump at that speed with that arc angle, the radius or whatever, is going to make a very squirrely vehicle. So that's why we want to stay up here. All right. I don't want to drivel on, drive on, or whatever. Let's get to this. So what we have here is another illustration of the drawing capabilities of we tj yes. so this is the tj board of truth so these are your axles but these arrows are all incorrect this is the theoretical from above view what it would look like the axles traveling but in reality the body travels the opposite direction so the body's going to go that way and it'll go that way so under um suspension compression right yes right um what are these uh five cylinders we didn't get a six cylinder no oh geez okay so the the tj and lj's live by these laws because of them be, having four coils i'm not i'm actually not sure i cannot remember how i think that i think the jk and jl's are set up the same way to, to where they have opposing track bar um angles I believe the reason why they have them opposing is if you hit a bump, um, it's not trying to kick the whole body over to where it's just twisting the body when it goes boom, boom, and hits a bump. It's twisting the body a little bit as opposed to trying to move the whole mass over. I think that's why they've done that. I'm not sure. So this is important to understand with a short wheelbase like a TJ and even an LJ. Um, why when you get these type of angles why that this can start to become pretty crazy all right so oh another thing i want to talk about was concerning the cherokees why the cherokees are it does not appear as though they're affected as much as like what what we are um they're leaf springs in the back so they only got this craziness going on in the front they don't have it going on in the back so the vehicle's doing it's it's locked solid here and it's just tipping over in the front as to where is ours is kicking around when it hits a bump cherokees it, it's <laughs> I, I see six and a half inch lifts on the front of cherokees all the time and six and a half inch on well either way once again come down over here five and a half equals infinity death hopefully they saw that um th that's a tj lj rule from there on you go into the infinity death okay so uh jk and jl's why don't you hear them complain about all this because stuff? typically they don't do more than three inches yeah that's, we, that's what we hear out of people's mouths yeah home. so you don't you just don't and for that matter, you just very, very seldom ever see a Jeep that's over four inches, mm -hmm. a JK or JL. You just don't, especially a JL. And, and um, like with the JLs, you hear, most time you don't hear them go over two inches. I mean. No. And then probably the next Jeep model two, after that, inch. they're going to have it mastered. Really. You don't even need a lift. So, so a two, two to three. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're right. So a two to three inch lift. Uh, a two to three inch lift on a uh, a TJ, you're in a good area there. JK and JL, you're in a good area there. If you start going up to the insane levels, and I'm and I'm 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 flirting with it right here with the four and a half inch. Uh, what do I want to speak about? 
No, I don't need to. I already covered that. I think we've covered what we need to. That this is really good. This is kind of good. This is not good. And this is infinity death. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> TJ Truth. Is that it? Yeah. Close us out. This is Darren and Harley with 3TJ, and we're out. We are out.